This is George Thomas with Coach Tom Martha, the uh, Akron Zips. I'm with the Beacon Journal. You've been at it for three days now, three practice sessions. I know it's early. Any thoughts so far? Well, you know, I think the, the best thing, um, you know, about these first three days has just been the, the mentality that our team has had. Um, you know, we've really uh, come out here with a mindset of improvement. Um, we've come out, we've been very competitive. Uh, we've worked very hard. We're making a lot of mistakes. Um, there's a lot of things that we can improve on, but the attitude and the effort that we're putting forth has been very good. I couldn't help but notice you spending a lot of time with the quarterbacks when I got here today. Is that where you plan to spend a lot of your time? It will be, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, with the offense and, you know, specifically with the quarterbacks, um, you know, I think that's I think that's very, you know, it's an important position, um, you know, at every level of football. And, and that relationship between the head coach and the quarterback is as important as any relationship in, in the game. It's an adjustment for, me, for you right now, I'm sure. What, what's going through your mind? Uh, right now, just getting the offense down. Uh, it's real complicated as far as uh, scheme and like systematically. Uh, a lot of what we do is um, NFL like type of offenses. So um, I'm just trying to do a good job of staying with uh, Coach Jake Schaefer because uh, he's kind of who, who's been with me to get the offense down. Just bothering him a lot and, and making sure I get everything down. It looks like Coach Earth is spending a lot of time with that unit. Is that a help? Is it? Weird to say, does it make you jittery at all considering he played at the pro level? Um, I think I, I don't think it's jittery. I just think it's a big help, especially that he's played at the pro level. Um, like I said, we run a pro-style offense, so him being in the meeting rooms and explaining to us from like his point of view really helps us out in the field. What do you think you need to do to, to lead this team to, to get that starting gig for next season? Just just get more comfortable. Um, you know, it was tough first, you know, it's the third practice. You can still tell him, Rusty. You can still tell I hadn't practiced since the, the book or a time ball. You know, that was the last time I put on pads. So just getting more comfortable and leading and um, at the end of the day, just executing and making plays. For you, how different is this offense so far? No, oh, it's, it's night and day from our last one. But I, at my old school, I ran this kind of offense. So I feel like I kind of have a heads up in, you know, in that category. Already running this, um, I wouldn't call it a pro style, but pro style offense for lack of a better term. So I'm um, just, man, but just getting more comfortable. Um, what are you doing with Cato right now as far as improving what he can do on the field? Well, you know, in, in terms of the units, um, you know, we have really right now two quarterbacks that are working um, with the first group. They're all working with the second group. Um, as well um, and just have a good rotation um, going with those guys and uh, they're competing every day and their performance their production um, really dictates um, their reps. Cato has is, uh, is done a good job. Robbie Kelly has done a good job. Um, you know TJ DeShields had an opportunity to get in uh, today and get some reps that he hasn't had uh, so we'll get a good chance to watch his tape and see how he performed.